Good evening and thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Melissa Stevens. Terry has the night off. New tonight, the saga of Concord Mall and its future seems to be coming to a resolution. The Elkhart City Council unanimously votes to change the zoning to allow redevelopment of the mall and the surrounding property. Matt Gotch was at tonight's meeting and joins us in studio with more. Matt? Yeah, Melissa, with the decline of malls around the country and changing uh, ch changing shopping trends, the city hopes this project will rejuvenate the south side of Elkhart. Councilman Kaufman? Yes. Councilman Fish? Yes. Councilman Hankey? Uh, President Dawson? Aye. Uh, the proposed ordinance states that the Concord Mall and surrounding area, 82 acres in total, will be transformed into a multifamily residential, community business, and light manufacturing hub. Malls throughout uh, the country have started to decline as shoppers' habits have changed. And currently the Concord Mall is very sparsely occupied. Uh, this will hopefully reinvigorate the property, create some jobs, and help alleviate some of our housing concerns in the process as well. ICP, or Industrial Commercial Properties, is the company that plans to redevelop this area. And they reached out to uh, the city after kind of touring the Concord Mall property and realizing that it fit with their existing portfolio of kind of the other projects that they've uh, done throughout the uh, country. The plan says that businesses like Hobby Lobby, the dental practice, and ABC Warehouse will remain untouched, and existing mall tenants like Enzo's Pizza will be helped by ICP to relocate. The outer perimeter around uh, the mall's parking lot uh, will be rezoned for um, multifamily housing, three to four story. The three pronged approach. Um, We've seen it work in some other areas, and we're hoping to bring it to that portion of Elkhart as well. Some residents are concerned about the industrial use of the mall near their homes, but ICP is confident that the mall's new uses will not interfere with the quality of life for residents. There's a lot of emotion attached to the mall. Many people have good memories of taking their children there to see Santa or the Easter Bunny or shopping with presents or just walking around the mall for exercise and shopping. Unfortunately, the, the mall of of our memory isn't the mall of today and if we want to see a thriving growing community we have to be willing to work with developers to to get there now I just want to reiterate that this vote changed the zoning so the project can move forward but the specifics of the project is another process that the city and ICP will have to nail down moving forward but councilman Mishler says construction is set to begin within the next few months all right, Matt Gotch reporting for us in the studio tonight. Matt, thank you so much.